Today we're going to install the Canon 24 to 105 lens scan. You're going to want to start by removing your hood. Now I've already taken this lens and wiped it down to remove any fingerprints, dust, or debris that may have been left behind. You'll notice on your kit that it has H1 and H2. Those are the hood pieces. You'll also have a lens cap and a back cap. The main body itself is broken into components A through I. They're all in order from the top of the lens to the bottom of the lens. We're going to go ahead and start with piece A. Go ahead and remove piece A from the paper carefully. Pick a starting point. Now piece A will go right above the red line. You can start anywhere you choose. I choose generally to start in the very back. So you're going to want to line that up right above the red line. Work that around. Perfect. Before I push that end flap down, I'm just going to check that I'm happy with the placement of the lens scan. If you're not happy with it, or if you goofed, or when we move on later on to the moving parts, and you find out that you've locked something, just simply pull the lens scan up and reposition. Super easy. And I'm happy with the way that looks, so I'm going to go ahead and push that down onto itself. We're going to move on to piece B. Piece B will go below Canon's red line. Notice there's just kind of a curvature to this piece of the lens. Just go ahead and pick your starting point. Again, I like to start in the back. Now piece B is a moving part, so be careful when you apply this not to get the lens skin in between the black and the red because you'll lock the lens and it won't be able to turn well. So I'm going to go ahead and start the position slightly below, below the red line. Get this started a couple inches, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab my focus ring and make sure that we have a freely moving part. And we do, so let's move on. Let's go ahead and wrap that around your lens. And again, before I push that final flap down, I'm just going to check them happy the placement all the way around, and I am. And now I'm going to go ahead and push that down. Let's move on to piece C. C's location is below the grip. Again, this is a moving part, so be careful not to lock the seam. Start right below the grip, above the seam line, push down. I love this pattern. This is a leopard pattern. Let's go ahead and move on to piece D. Now D, you'll notice, is a short piece. It's designed to go somewhere in this area to somewhere in this area. Just approximate it, kind of center it up. So let's go ahead and remove D from the paper. Come on. Okay. And D is also a moving part, so be careful not to cover up that middle seam. Looks pretty good. Push that down. Let's move on to piece E. Go ahead and grab piece E from the back part and lift it up. We don't want to stretch any of the thinner pieces. So piece E is going to go over the window. You're going to want to start with one corner of the window, like so. Let the end tail fall down, and we're just going to work with one. We're just going to work with one piece at a time, so it's manageable. Careful not to cover up that seam. When you're happy with the placement, go ahead and push down, and then work with the rest of the lens skins around the lens, just as so. Perfect. Now we're going to go on to piece F. Go ahead and carefully peel up piece F. Piece F is going to go on this line right here. 
I'm going to go ahead and start in the back. This is also a moving part, so be careful not to overlap that seam. Sounds like I'm being redundant, but I myself have covered up the seam and go to use the lens and nothing turns and how to reposition everything. It's better just to do it right the first time. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to push that flap down. And then we're going to go on to piece G. Piece G has two options. You're going to want to start piece G after the 105 mark. So I'm going to place it right there, as close to 105 as I can get. It's also a moving part. This seam is a little harder to overlap than the others, so you should be just fine. And work this around. Now, if you use your numbers a lot, you could choose to stop approximately here, cut this part of the skin off, so you can still see your 24 to 105, so you know what focal length you're at. If you don't care about that, or want to make the decision later, just go ahead and cover that up completely, just as we did on all the other parts of the skin. And if you choose to go back later, you can always just pry this piece up and make it back to the 24 mark and cut that. It's completely up to you. We're going to go on to piece H. H is going to go right directly underneath G. Here we go. And just work that around. Okay, here we are. And then overlap it when we're happy with it. Perfect. The last piece of body is piece I. I'm going to go ahead and start this directly in the back. Work this around slowly. Image stabilizer is a um, separate button that Canon puts on. So when you cover that, you're going to want to make sure at the very end you push down that firmly to get rid of any of the air bubbles. So go ahead and push that down. And I'm going to look at the lens, make sure all the parts move freely, and they do. So once I'm happy with the placement, I'm just going to go ahead and run my fingers around there, make sure we push in all the pieces to get out any remaining air bubbles that might remain. Perfect. Go ahead and put on the back cap and the front cap. Pretty hard to mess those up. Okay, let's move on to the lens hood and set this aside. Now that we have the body of our lens done, we're going to go ahead and move on to the hood. You'll notice that the hood is broken up into two parts, H1 and H2. Now they're identical, so it doesn't really matter which one you start with. Just pick one and pry it up. We're, the easiest way to put this on is to line up this groove right here. You notice it's identical to the lens to this groove. So if we just take this, line up the groove, and then work one side on at a time, the hood goes on extremely easy. Now I got a little air bubble on there. Normally that could be pushed out, but that's a little bit of a bigger one. So I'm going to want to lift that up, reposition it, and push it out. Go ahead and grab the other side, H2. Same thing. Find that well. Line it up. And work on one side at a time. If you're getting air bubbles in there, like see there's a slight little air bubble right there, not a problem. Just take your thumb and just push it right out. Realign that slightly. Cap it in and push that down. Air bubble right there. Go ahead and push that out. Perfect. This has been LensSkins.com, and this is How to Skin, a Canon 24-105 to macro. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.